President Haga Indehijilema this morning welcomed the team from the World Bank, led by Vice President for Southern and Eastern Africa, Victoria Kwakwa. Mr. Hichilema shared on how climate change has adversely affected the energy and agriculture sector. He has since welcomed the move by the World Bank to introduce the catastrophe deferred drawdown option, or CAT DDO, as it will help cushion shocks brought about by climate change. Climate change negative effects, a drought in particular, or floods, as it may be in, in some cases, <clears throat> is brought a new dimension, which we did not fuse into our calculation of uh, Minister and ST, the debt sustainability. Right? So when we did the numbers, to give you one clear example, you don't have to go far, you don't have to fish around. Our growth projection was that this year we were going to go to 4.7% GDP growth. But because of this exogenous variable, we are now talking about 2% plus. We don't know where we'll settle. Largely because of two things for us. The drought has injected two national risks, energy, food. Country, this leadership also needs to work with friends like yourselves to ameliorate the damage that has been caused by this uh, factor. We can front load that project so that make energy available for one irrigation agriculture to avoid an economic shutdown, which may even escalate this damage the, even the two plus percent growth we're talking about. The economic shutdown through energy shutting down, it means lesser growth. It means more difficulties. Um, from where I sit, where we sit, I think we need to ask you to front load mm -hmm. that project, which is up to 20 into the 30s, but see what we can pack and bring forward since the, the program is already in place. And then the K, the CAT, TDO, could you take this to your board mm -hmm. to make sure that it, the board you know, resolves or makes a decision on this CAT, TDO? Mm -hmm. uh, here is December or something like that mm -hmm. when you're going to the board. Uh, that will be our our ask. And Secretary to the Treasury, Felix Nkulukosa, shared on how government is working with the bank regarding the energy sector. We are working very closely with the country team, um, supported with the country director who is based in Tanzania. On the energy uh, project, um, the National Energy Advancement and Transformational Project in the World Bank, they always call it NEAT. Um, and this is a project um, that runs from 2023 to 2033. It is a $700 million um, uh, project um, aimed at um, uh, making Zesco sustainable and as well as attracting a new investment, um, new private sector investment. Meanwhile, Ms. Victoria Kwakwa said the CAT DDO project will reach the World Bank board before the end of the year. We're bringing a new instrument to the table that we haven't done used before in uh, Zambia. Uh, it's called the CAT DDO. The World Bank has a lot of acronyms, as you know. Uh, but it's really contingent financing that is available for shocks like this, uh, whether it's climate shocks, whether it's health shocks, uh, but primarily for climate shocks. One part of it supports you on reforms for resilience. And then the other part makes the financing available. It can be drawn on super quickly mm -hmm. if a crisis hits. So you don't have to be stuck looking for how do I finance, how do I support. And we're taking a project like this to the board before the end of the calendar year. So uh, that will also shore up your resilience and your ability to withstand some of these shocks. Uh, for us, uh, we will continue to work with you to push this agenda. Uh, and also to put the things in place that will really stimulate growth in a way that you're able to achieve your objectives of reducing poverty mm -hmm. and uplifting all Zambians. Shilika Chabalengula, Fozanis, in Lusaka.